Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of update regarding the cheapest multicolor uh, 3D printer that I got. If you haven't seen the unboxing video of this one, I'll put it in the link in the description. But basically I got this one really cheap because it's a refurb unit. And you can see there is a Sun New filament dryer here. You don't necessarily need a dryer, but I do recommend it if you are printing in the area with high humidity. Even if you are printing PLA, which is the easiest things to print, it's still you get a lot better result when the filament is dry. Nozzle, I bought this one from AliExpress. This is really cheap. I think it's about five five pound per uh, nozzle and um, I got a set of four and one of them is in there at the moment which is 0.6 so you don't have to buy original. The plate which came with the machine is a texturized plate and they have really good grip so I have no fault with that it has been printing for a while now but I also got this from AliExpress which I haven't tested yet like this but this is a lot thicker so this is kind of a one mil one millimeter thick and uh, the default one i think is about 0 0.6 so um, there might be some adjusting needs to be done um, when i choose the uh, texture plate on uh, ochre forge it prints fantastic so i'm not going to jinx it so eventually i'll move on to this plate but for now i'm just going to stick with the standard plate in terms of the case um, obviously you guys will have your own design i choose not to use the acrylic box and use the three mil pie um, later on in the video, I will show you guys what the process like for me. Um, this is laser cut. These are printed. So this one is using the default nozzle 0.4 mil. So this is 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And down here, I got a 0 0.4. This is kind of a portal hole so I can see the inside. But in fact, you should have the window higher up here because the first layer is always, uh, the first layer is always on top here. So uh, originally I have a circle here and you can't see a thing because it was printing up here. So this is the 12 Zodiac and they all printed with a 0.2 nozzle. I, at the end I have to print the top part again because I like the higher height so the tube inside doesn't rub on the lid. The glass is not really a glass, this is something I have lying around. Basically I have some screen protector for a uh, laptop or tablet. So this is just a spare piece, they come in two. So my video is never a tutorial, I'm just showing you what I use the machine for. Mostly I make props, something like this. Eventually I might sell them, but at the moment I'm not really designing my own. So these are all download from the internet, so I'm just using them to test the printer. And I'm quite impressed with a cheap printer who can actually chuck out, you know, good quality prints without too much of a hustle. So this is the last video of 2025. Everyone have a good Christmas and I can't wait to see you next time with a more interesting gadget. Bye bye.